Hello everyone, Reginald Scott here and welcome to the video. Now today we're talking bottom brackets and specifically we're going to be talking about Hambini bottom brackets. And I have been asked the question in a previous video, would I recommend one and would I buy one? And my answer to that is no. But before I continue with this video and explain why I'm saying no, I need to make some things absolutely crystal clear so that there is no confusion and no misunderstanding. The first thing I need to make clear is the reason I am saying no has nothing to do with Hambini as a person. And it has nothing to do with my previous interactions with him on YouTube. And it has nothing to do with our previous argument. Even before our argument, even before he even knew I existed, I would have always answered that question with a no. And there are some very specific reasons, technical reasons, logical reasons and factual reasons why I would have said no. It has absolutely nothing to do with emotion or my personal feelings towards Hambini. Okay, so I want to make that absolutely clear. The second point is this. I am not saying no because I think there is anything inherently wrong or bad about Hambini bottom brackets. I am not casting doubt on their quality as such, and I am not saying that there are, they are poorly designed or something, right? My reasons for saying no are not that. I'm also not suggesting that if you are considering buying one or you have already bought one, that that is a bad thing. I am not suggesting that. For you, it might be fantastic. It might be a good choice. And if you're considering buying one, even after the end of this video, I won't say that you're wrong. I am just giving you my personal reasons why I personally wouldn't buy one. And I've always felt that way about his product, irrelevant of the time scale, okay, irrelevant of our interactions. So hopefully that has made all of that totally clear. Right, now I've settled all of that, we can move on to looking at the bike and I can explain to you why I personally would not recommend or buy a Hambini bottom bracket. Let's go have a look. So I'm going to do the ubiquitous spin test. Uh, this bottom bracket here has not been serviced since it was installed nine months ago. So it's had nine months of use on it. And these are the, the basic FSA bearings that come with the bottom bracket. And this is before I open this up to show you today. So I just want to show you the spin test. So basic steel bearings, not serviced in nine months. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, folks, so here's some of the reasons why I personally don't need to or want to buy a Hambini BB. Now, if you look at my bottom bracket shell, I've removed the bottom bracket cups so you can see more easily inside the shell. Let me just bring this a bit closer. You'll notice a couple of things. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is this is made out of titanium rather than carbon fiber and it's also machined to a precision fit unlike a carbon fiber bottom bracket which is molded and therefore often comes out the mold in a weird shape this bottom bracket is completely round and they make sure these are completely round before they leave the factory because these are handmade uh, in america with a certain level of pride so the first thing is any bottom bracket that I put in here, whether it be the one that I have in currently, which is like this, a plastic cup, a PF30 with a plastic cup on either end, um, this is going to fit inside there absolutely perfectly, and it's going to give a lovely snug fit, and it's not going to creak, and it's going to be nicely aligned as well. So I'm going to have no alignment issues, no creaking issues, and no fitting issues. If you watched a previous video I did where I looked at the, um, what was it? It was a Scott bike. And I made the video why I would never buy a Scott. Um, the issue with that bike was exactly what I've just mentioned, which is the bottom bracket shell was made of carbon fiber and it was misshapen. This is exactly the bottom bracket that I fitted. So it's got aluminum cups on it, threaded, so this thing screws together 
inside the bag, okay? It's beautifully anodized, this one. Nearly there. Wow, that's a lot of threads. Okay, so that's how this one works. It screws together through the frame and you get a very stiff and very beautifully aligned bottom bracket. So what I had to do was I had to sand down the the shell in order to fit one of these. And what this, what's nice about these is they don't need um, a bottom bracket to be perfectly round. They just need the aperture to be big enough to fit the actual cup um, and have some support on the cup because the rest of the retainment of the bearings or the bottom bracket system is done by screwing it tight, okay? So once you've screwed it tight, it doesn't move. And so if there's a slight deviation where one portion of the bottom bracket shell is slightly wider on one side, it doesn't matter. So that's how you solve some of those carbon fiber bottom bracket issues with this kind of bearing. But if I was to put one of those kind of bearings in here, it would work just the same. The, the previous bearing set that I had in here was one of these, a Paraxis bearing. This is PF30 as well, but this uses 24 millimeter because I was using a Shimano crank before. And this fits in there perfectly as well. I never had any issues over the several years that I used this type in here. And again, in the nine months that I've been using this one, which is just the most basic, cheapest, lightest weight bottom bracket you can get, I had no issues as well. So that's basically the first reason why I wouldn't buy a Hambini BB, because I simply don't need to. There we go. So if I open this up and measure from side to side. We're getting about 45, 91, 92. And if I measure top to bottom, Again, I'm getting 45, 92, 91, 92 fluctuating. And if I measure corner to corner like this, 45, 91. So you can see that it's pretty consistent. 91, 92. So it's basically exactly, it's about 45, 90 all the way around. And what's nice about this is because it's so perfectly aligned, both sides, and because it's perfectly round, any bearings that you put in here will run smoothly and they will run to the very best of their capabilities. So, so let's take a look at some of the bottom brackets which are alternatives to buying a Hambini one. And first off, I wanna show you the measurements of these two because these are both uh, PF30 uh, bottom brackets which is the same as mine so we already measured my bottom bracket and it was around um, 45 92 45 93 somewhere around there so according to this package the cup size for the the side walls here should be 46 millimeters or thereabouts okay now let's have a look if that is anywhere near close So we're coming out 4597, 96. So very close, almost perfectly on uh, 46. And my bottom bracket is almost perfectly on 46 as well. So these are a really good fit. This one is, oops. 45, 94, 45, 95. So again, pretty close. Um, so that is why I don't have any fitting issues with my bottom bracket. And that is why I don't need a solution to a problem that I do not have. Now, here's the thing. If you do have that problem, okay, if you do have a problem with your bike and you're worried that you need a solution for it, my question would be, why do you think you need the Hambini version of that bottom bracket? Okay, so 
this is a very basic bottom bracket and I said the advantages of this one for me is it's incredibly cheap and it's incredibly light. All it is, is a simple bearing pressed into a plastic cup. This is really easy to install, really easy to remove. And as I say, as long as your bottom bracket is round, you won't have any problem with this. It's also plastic. So there is, if there is some deviation, you have some allowance there because the plastic is obviously going to mold better to any deviations than a metal cup is going to because it's slightly softer. Now here's the thing, this one, uh, PF30 bottom bracket in Brunei dollars is 66, US dollars that's 49, and in GBP that's 39 pounds. Okay, so that's really cheap as a bottom bracket, 39 pounds British money. Then we have something like this, which is a Paraxis BB. Now, Paraxis make really good quality bottom brackets. I've been using them for years. I've got a lot of customers that use them. And I would consider these to be quite expensive. Um, and they work really, really well. They have a very wide range of bottom brackets and they all follow a certain theme, but they use very good quality bearings um, and they use a screw type design as well. So this one is one of those screw type bottom brackets. They're machined very, very well. This one comes with an adapter, so you can use this one in PF30 or BB30. Um, and like I say, they work very, very well. No issues, no problems with these. Like I say, this is getting towards more of the high end, in my opinion, of bottom brackets. And this one would fix some of those problems that you might be having with your carbon bottom bracket, right? Which you would consider buying a Hambini BB in order to solve. So this can do the same thing. And this one is 116 Brunei dollars or 86 US or 69 GBP. I'm sure some of you find that funny if you're uh, Hambini fans. So on Hambini's website, he has this chart that shows power consumption over 5,000 kilometers. And it, if I'm reading this correctly, it says that the Paraxis Works BB used just less than one watt of power consumption. And the Hambini Racing just used slightly over half a watt. So there is less than half a watt difference between the two BBs, less than half a watt. Um, now coming over to this one. Now this one's interesting because they do make this one in a PF30 version. It looks exactly the same it's just got the wider cup size on it. Um, and this one is a threaded style bottom bracket again with aluminium cups and an aluminium sleeve. It's got again very nice quality bearings in it that are well sealed as well. Like it comes with these nice rubber seals here which have got very very fine uh, rubber edges to them and they slot into a recess there and that gives you fantastic sealing. I've had these in customers bikes again for over a year and we've opened the bikes up to service them. And these are customers that ride very regularly and these things are still like new. So very, very, very good bottom brackets from BBB. BBB are not an expensive brand. Um, and the machining on this is really quite exquisite. Now, yes, it's a mass production um, item, but it's machined very, very well. These things are easily a rival to the Hambini bottom brackets. And this one is $145 Brunei, 114 US and 91 GBP. Now the Hambini version of this bottom bracket comes in three types. The last one at the bottom here is almost identical to this. It's a threaded type with the keyways on the side so you can screw it into the frame. And that one is 261 pounds. They have a standard one which just presses in a, a basic press fit one, like a, a standard Shimano press fit, which is 186 pounds. And their race bottom bracket, or his race bottom bracket, is 284, nearly 300 pounds. I don't think that includes delivery. So you're comparing something which is gonna do basically the same job for 91 GBP or you can pay nearly 300 GBP for the Hambini version. Now, 
One of the issues or one of the differences is the Hanbini bottom brackets do come with top quality NTN or SKF bearings in them, right? So you could say to me, well, you're paying for the better bearings. But here's the thing. If you use this bottom bracket in your bike for a couple of years, right? And you wear these bearings out, which are, like I say, very good quality bearings in these, these things. They're standard steel bearings, nothing too fancy, but they're decent quality. If you wear these bearings out, there is absolutely nothing stopping you going to a decent bike shop or even doing it yourself and pulling the bearings out of this with a bearing puller and pushing in any bearing you want to use. So you could push in a ceramic speed bearing if you wanted to. It's going to be in the same unit. Um, you could push in an NTN bearing if you want to. If you do use NTM bearings, you're going to need to reduce the internal diameter down to 24 millimeters. So you'll need a set of these cheap plastic covers. You can get these on AliExpress for less than a pound. And uh, sometimes you get free shipping as well. So there you go. These ones on this picture look really nice, actually. You can put any kind of bearings in here you want. So basically, for less money, third of the price of the Hambini bottom bracket, you get to use this thing for several years with the standard bearings in it, and then you could buy additional bearings for it, maybe two or even three times, and still never spend that much money on a bottom bracket. Now, the reason why I'm guessing that one is considered the race bottom bracket is it's slightly lighter and probably has a better quality bearing in it. So like I say, you could do the same with this. You could push in any bearings you want into this unit. Right, now, one of the major advantages of using a Hanbini bottom bracket is if you have a problem with your bike and you send your frame to him and he makes you a custom bottom bracket. But we're not talking about custom bottom brackets. What we're talking about is off the shelf bottom brackets, just like these. It's just a generic item. There's nothing special about it. Like I say, if you send your bike frame to him because you have a really serious alignment problem and he makes you a state-of-the-art, one-off, custom bottom bracket to put in your bike to fix that problem, that to me makes total sense and that would be worth the investment. I don't have to do that because there's nothing wrong with my bike frame. And for the majority of you out there, there's probably also nothing wrong with your bike frame. Anyone who's going on his website and buying one of his standard off the shelf generic bottom brackets that he's producing, in my opinion, is wasting their money. Now, they may come back and I'm sure people are going to say this in the comments. Oh, but I've had this thing for ages and it's been absolutely fantastic. It's beautifully made. It runs really smoothly. And I do not disagree with any of that. I'm sure all of that is true. Peak Talk did an excellent review, which is incredibly detailed, of the Hambini bottom bracket. And in it, he found the deviation on each side of the bottom bracket to be a bit less, I think, than 20 microns, which is an incredible level of machining, no doubt about it. However, he did make the point several times that that level of accuracy is wasted on a bottom bracket for a bicycle, because what you're going to push it into is never going to be that accurate itself. So you're paying for that level of accuracy and you're paying for that level of machining, but you don't need it and you're not actually going to benefit from it because, as I say, what you're pushing it into also isn't that accurate. It's kind of like a Tesco's butcher having a knife that is so sharp he could do heart surgery. He doesn't really need a knife that, that that's sharp for chopping up lamb chops. He just needs a knife which is sharp enough. You have to ask yourself the question, what are you comparing the Hambini bottom bracket with? So if in your bike originally you had some cheap plastic bog standard Shimano BB that doesn't spin very well, and you immediately, without trying any other brand, upgraded to the Hambini bottom bracket, the difference would feel absolutely incredible. That's guaranteed. However, if you were to go from the cheap Shimano one that came with your bike and upgrade to a BBB one, like the one I'm showing in the video, I think you would find that equally a massive improvement. And then if you were to change to the Hambini one, I think you would 
struggle to tell the difference. You would struggle to feel the difference. And I know that because I have customers who've both upgraded from the bog standard one to the BBB one and say it feels incredible. And I also have customers who previously used very expensive ceramic speed bottom brackets that do genuinely feel very smooth when you usually buy them new. And they, they upgraded or after that wore out or broke, they upgraded to the BBB one, which again is like half the price of the ceramic speed BB. And they said it felt just the same. They couldn't tell the difference. The only difference being that the steel bearings in the BBB one last longer. It's a little bit like if you have a cheap secondhand car that's always breaking down and then you immediately upgrade to a top of the range Mercedes, the difference is going to feel huge, right? But if you upgrade from a banged up secondhand car to a top of the range Kia or a top of the range Hyundai, that's also going to feel absolutely amazing. And then if you were to buy the Mercedes, the difference between the top of the range Hyundai and the Mercedes is going to be less perceptible. However, the Hyundai is a lot cheaper than the Mercedes. So you've got to ask yourself, is the benefit that you're getting from the slightly more expensive car actually worth it? Another negative of the Hambini bottom bracket that I noticed is often you can't actually get the bottom bracket you want right away. You do have to wait. Um, I don't know how long that waiting period is. I guess it depends on how his production works, how many orders he has, but potentially it could be weeks or maybe even months before you see your bottom bracket. So if you're desperate for one now, it kind of makes the cheaper alternatives a bit more desirable. So number one, if you don't have anything wrong with your bike, you don't need a Hambini bottom bracket. If you do have something wrong with your bike, buying a, a generic Hambini bottom bracket might not actually solve your problem because it's not custom made. He does do custom made stuff, but you're not gonna get it for the same price as you do his generic bottom brackets. I'm sure his custom service is way more expensive than his generic stuff. The Hambini ones are handmade. Now, I like handmade things. My bike is handmade, okay? My light speed is handmade. I like the fact that somebody, an artisan, a skilled technician made my bicycle. I like that feeling. But often guys like Hambini and others will argue that you're wasting your money if you buy some artisan made Italian bike frame, right? You're better off buying a generic Chinese one and you'll save half the money. My argument with this is kind of similar. This is probably made in Taiwan or China, but the machining on it is phenomenally good. Um, it's beautifully accurate, right? And I'm sure the Hambini ones are also beautifully accurate. So if you want a handmade in the UK bottom bracket that does exactly the same job as this, then fantastic, more power to you. If you've got that kind of money to spend, go for it. But me personally, I never see the need personally to buy one of his bottom brackets. I will buy, continue to buy generic bottom brackets that are way, way cheaper and just put my own bearings in them when the bearings wear out. And that will work fine for me. So there you go. Uh, that is basically everything. And thank you for watching the video. As always, folks, do stay safe when you're out riding.